Dr. Nima Runyon from Elite Health returns this week to talk about the fragile topic of dying and dignity. That's that's a tough one. It we, is. We all know that's that's inevitable. Um, but you know, personally, even when when do you start? I mean, when do you start talking about? How do you start talking about it with your children, or your spouse, or your significant other? Nancy, this is a very often touchy subject that need yeah. not be. Mm -hmm. Because I have found that anyone, truly anyone over the age of 18, needs to have this conversation and have the documents that I'm about to speak of. Okay. It's for any adult that is thinking and contemplating their life and their life includes those final moments, those final times. Mm -hmm. And we've all seen, maybe there's an uncle, a grandma. We've, we've been through that very sad time where we are witness to their end of life. And mm -hmm. we say to ourselves, that's not how I want to do it. That's exactly. not how I want to go. Right. So for all of our viewers, now's the time. It's mm -hmm. never too early mm -hmm. until it's too late. So right now, as you sit here, you can start to have the conversation, first of all, in your own mind's eye. What do you see as dying with dignity? It's for you. What does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. What are the things that matter to you? Mm -hmm. And if you were incapacitated and unable to speak and converse for yourself right? for yourself mm -hmm. what would you like to have done there's some people that say dr runyon let me go i don't want any of it and there's others who come to me and say i want full court press take me to the to, yeah. to the finish line yeah. yeah and you see as your primary care physician mm -hmm. we need to start having those conversations early and often, you are not committed to any one decision at any one time exactly. or another. Exactly. You can always change your mind. If you write something down, it's, it's a foundation. You Absolutely. can always change it, add to it. Absolutely. Nothing is permanent mm -hmm. as your thoughts change. And, and I was mentioning as the 18-year-old, how he or she thinks about dying right. is going to be different than how the 80, 90 year old thinks about it. Mm -hmm. Those, what matters to the individual is going to be different. But what's the important thing is that anything can happen to anybody at any time. Absolutely. It doesn't matter whether you're 18 or 80. It doesn't. No. So if, it, if it's a concern to you that you, because we enjoy, I think, most enjoy having a certain amount of control and, and our opinions expressed mm -hmm. in our life. And this is an extension of that. So when you go into your physician, it's very important that you speak of these end of life wishes okay. and that your physician documents this in the medical chart. All right. What are some of the things that you wanted to, to mention that we need to have? Well, I think the first thing is, you need to know what matters, how aggressive mm -hmm. or unaggressive you want someone to be. Mm -hmm. Understanding terms like CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, mm -hmm. those are with chest compressions or electricity starting your heart. What it means to be mechanically ventilated, having a breathing tube put in your uh, throat and then having a machine do the action of inhalation, right. exhalation for you. And also, those are more mechanical things, but mm -hmm. also the hydration, nutrition. If you're unable to take your own food and water, right. what would you want to have done for you in that case? Would you want to be invaded with a tube or not to give yourself f food and nutrition. Excellent. Yeah, and so that's, you know, it's so important, not to interrupt, but it mm -hmm. is. I, again, I can't stress enough what you're saying, having witnessed things like that in, in my personal life. Um, you, you don't want to wait until it's too yeah. late. 
And that's why I'm saying, you know, you really need to start the conversation now. as uncomfortable as it is. Now. I think everybody over the age of 18, because anything can happen at any time, okay. should start having the thoughts and, and conversation to themselves, their family, mm -hmm. and their friends. Okay and establish who they would want. It's called a health proxy. Okay. So it's a person, it can be family, it can be friends. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to speak for you mm -hmm. when you can't? Mm -hmm. So it's someone that you speak about these end of life wishes mm -hmm. on an ongoing basis, meaning you can change what you feel, right. but someone who knows what that is. And then that added little bonus, just like we have a will for our distributing our assets, there is an advanced directive that you tell in writing everyone, your family, your friends, your doctor, the mm -hmm. hospital, yeah. you tell them, if this happens, then this I it. want this. And okay. it can be as detailed as you want it to be. Okay. The more information, the better. The better. Okay. But everyone should have this, right. everyone. Great, thank you. Now. Yes, we enjoyed having you on the show. And I enjoyed being here. I would like you to tell our viewers one more time what sets Elite Health apart from others. Well, I... There's a lot of things. There's but. a lot of things. And I think of all my decades in medicine, I, I repeat this so many times, I've never seen anything quite like it. Mm -hmm. The superstructure that they have in place allows the doctor and the patient to be more one-on-one, -on -one, more in partnership with each other. As it should be. As, yes, yes. But it's a, a structure such that it's all about patient ease, patient care, mm -hmm. and the focus is on preventive medicine, keeping you healthy, and as bad as it's out, keeping you out of our office and out of the hospital, living your life. As the way it should be. The way you want to and enjoying the things that you want to awesome. enjoy. What a great way to end the show. Thank, Thank you, you for so much, me. Doctor. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI. To find previous episodes, go to snntv.com under programming. See you next Saturday and Sunday at noon.